you know, snowboard half pipe riding's been a little stale, to be completely honest. The tricks have been progressing, but it just doesn't mean much. It looks the same. As soon as we start getting complacent, whether in the stuff we're building or the riding style that people have, we've sort of lost the magic of what this winter action sports thing is all about. I really didn't know what to expect coming here. I was just excited to see something different and still a half pipe. My mind is blown. The double pipe is one of the more complicated and definitely the biggest single feature we've ever built at SPT in 17 years of history. We've had six guys on the ground here for 19 days and we're probably going to use somewhere in the neighborhood of 45 to 50 million gallons of water. So this really is setting a new benchmark as far as half pipes. I saw the drawings about um, a month ago and I looked at it at first sight and I was like, there's no way this is gonna, like, how's this even gonna work? It looked cool, it looked crazy to actually see it in real life. There's two half pipes that just look so good and they're super long. A lot of feelings started rushing through us. I was excited, kind of nervous, kind of scared all in one. First lap was definitely a bit scary. Usually when you do an air in a pipe, you look over and there's like a deck, there's people, there's something over there. There was nothing over there. The spine that separates the two pipes was by far the most critical part of this whole thing, and it was the last thing to get built. And in all honesty, I pretty much wasn't expecting anybody to be able to transfer from one pipe to the next on the first day. Already people are just like slaying the transfer, and it's just, it's so much fun to ride. The way you approach transferring the spine is so different than a normal half pipe ball. If you took the same approach on a normal half pipe ball, you'd land in the crowd. In addition to having two pipes that are side by side, we've also filled it with a couple little goodies here and there. We've got two wall rides. There's a 12 inch pipe, set it three feet tall, right up the middle of the spine. Everyone's cruising, having a good time, smiles, and it's just a good time, really. Welcome out, Red Bull Double Pipe, the first ever double super pipe competition in the world. The top eight riders that are standing out from our field, they're gonna be the ones that are gonna be moving on to the finals. So 18 riders, eight move on in a two hour jam format. It's not easy to ride. You gotta figure it out, try to be comfortable on it. It's really cool to have uh, new challenges and not always do the same tricks. Now there's like so many options. Double backside alley rodeo there. Bringing those new features in and mixing it up, it really needs a good port feel and like an all-round uh, talented rider to make like sick runs in here. It's a pretty chill vibe. I mean, I'm making it as chill as possible. Just trying to have fun and just do something unique and, and new. And there it Whoa. is, the backside three that was the talk of the town the other day. Gabe Ferguson. Usually for a normal pipe contest, everybody's got their run dialed, and in this, nobody has any idea what they're doing, so it's like everybody's going in a different direction. I definitely have some stuff I want to try. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I get the balls to do it. I definitely just want to have a good time. That's the main goal. Does he have speed to go up and over again? Oh. He does. You know, I think this is definitely the next step or direction and where half pipe riding needs to go, where they're progressing, but they're progressing for fun and kind of showing a different side of the sport to the mainstream. Here in the finals, we're changing things up. Eight riders will be taking three runs, and their best run counts. Benji Farrow, the 50-50, 270 out. Oh. Jab! 14 years old, Gabe Ferguson. We're at to the front side, 900. Arthur Longo. Oh, and there's the big oh. transfer. Chase Josie. There's the Michael Chuck. And your number one qualifier. Put your hands together for Taylor Gold. I definitely want to learn some more like creative tricks because I think that that's kind of where the sport's going to go from here. I think that formats like these are going to become more popular. With a whopping score, 95.6. Taylor Gold. It's unreal. It's just beyond words. <laughs>